After the success that was Spider-Man 1 and 2, we got Spider-Man 3. But then five years later, Sony decided to reboot the entire Spider-Man franchise with The Amazing Spider-Man. And, you know, it did pretty good, pretty good. Got some decent reviews and stuff. Yeah, they did okay. But then two years later, we got The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And, you know, it wasn't as impressive with the box office, you know. And the movie was a big fat fail. <laughs> Honestly, like Sony, all they really wanted to do was make The Amazing Spider-Man 2 a big setup movie. A movie that would set up more movies. That's all that it was. It was trying to set up, uh, you know, it was trying to set up a Black Cat movie or a Venom movie or a Sinister Six movie or a third Amazing Spider-Man. That's all that it was, a setup movie. And yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a big fail. It, it, it didn't work out. So after The Amazing Spider-Man 2... Sony was struggling because it was just a big fail and no one liked it, no one enjoyed it, so they didn't know what to do. That's until Amy Pascal, who was the so-called chairperson of Sony Pictures, came across the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, where they finalized the deal, they shook hands and decided that they would bring Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now apparently this isn't the first time Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal met up to try to finalize this deal. No, uh, the first time that when they tried to do it, when Kevin tried to bring Spider-Man into the MCU, uh, Amy Pascal didn't like the idea, she didn't like it at all, she very much disagreed, and she apparently threw a sandwich at Kevin and told him to get the fuck out. So, yeah, poor Kevin I guess. I don't know if that actually happened, I don't know if there's a rumors or if that actually happened or not, but yeah. But it doesn't matter, because Spider-Man is officially now in the MCU, and fans are so freaking happy. And then the day finally came. The second trailer of Captain America Civil War got released, and we got to see our first look of Spider-Man. And everyone, including myself, were pumped. Where's Spider-Man? On the roof! Hey, everyone. The film finally got released and it was praised by both audiences and critics. It did really, really well. Everyone was happy. And everyone, of course, was happy with Spider-Man. Everyone loved him. Everyone praised him. And of course, the lead actor, Tom Holland. You know, he did a good job you know, of how he portrayed the character and stuff. Everyone was very happy with that. Um, and it made it a lot better knowing that Spider-Man was the superhero that Tom always wanted to play. What kind of superhero would I want to play? Maybe... Maybe Spider-Man in like 10 years time. After the release of Captain America Civil War, things seemed to be doing pretty good. They were able to get Spider-Man in Civil War. Everyone loved them, everyone was very happy, and things were doing really, really well. Um, and that's when things started getting really crazy when the marketing in like started for Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland's first standalone Spider-Man movie back in like early, early 2017, I think. And you know, things were starting to get really crazy now. Like Marvel and Sony were gonna be both collaborating with this movie. So things are gonna get more crazy and more stuff is going to be happening and yeah but then there was this incident that happened that made fans really worried about the amount of time that spider-man was going to have in the mcu so it was CinemaCon of 2017 and spider-man homecoming was being promoted you know tom holland the director kevin feige they were all there to promote the film and release a new trailer you know things were looking pretty cool and then um yeah, things were looking pretty exciting. Um, and Amy Pascal was also there. And there was some things that she had to say about pretty much about stuff, about companies or whatever. And it, I don't know, it, it was it was really weird and it made fans really worried. And uh, yeah, she just this is what she had to say. You don't have studios deciding to work together to make a film very often. In fact, it may never happen again after we do the sequel. Um, so, yeah, fans were really confused of what she was trying to say, but some people think that she was trying to say is that after they do the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming, after that's all done and released, the deal between Marvel and Sony will be done, and Spider-Man will be out of the MCU, and will be crawling back to Sony, and that's what people think she's trying to say. And that made fans really worried. Like, no, like, what? After the sequel, he's gonna be done already? Like, what? We're getting another reboot already? Like, Tom Holland's gonna be done? What? You can't do that. Like, we, we need more time. Like, no, we don't want to go back to Sony. We don't want another reboot. Like, fans were really worried because they don't want another reboot. They don't want Spider-Man to go back to Sony because they, they're they really happy of where he is right now. And what, after the sequel, he's just gonna be done? No, you can't do that, Sony. You can't freaking do that. 
Things are looking pretty good for Spider-Man Homecoming, more interviews are being released and the movie is just continuing to be promoted and stuff and it, everything's looking really, really good. And then we get an interview with uh, Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal, where Amy Pascal has some more things she wants to talk about. Well, those movies will all take place in the world that we are now creating for for you know for Peter Parker. I mean, it'll there'll be adjuncts to it. They may be different locations, but it will still all be in the same world, and they will be connected to each other as well. So now it kind of feels like everything's just being put together now, because uh, you know it, it kind of makes sense because like earlier in the year of 2017, Sony announced that they're going to try to do a Venom movie with Tom Hardy, and um, yeah. Um, you know, and then in CinemaCon, we get the news that, what, she's trying to say that, uh, Amy Pascal is saying stuff like, oh, yeah, yeah, after we do the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, we're gonna be, it's gonna be over, we're gonna be done, we're gonna do, continue to do our own things with Spider-Man, I guess, and, yeah, people thought that's what she's trying to say, and now here we are with this interview with Amy and Kevin, where Amy is explaining that, what, they're gonna do, uh, they're trying to create this universe that Spider-Man might join, so after Homecoming 2, it's gonna be over. And that Spider-Man will be crawling back to Sony and they're gonna create this universe and it, it's gonna be over. Spider-Man Homecoming is getting amazing reviews from both critics and audiences. It makes a pretty good amount at the box office and things are doing great for the movie. And you know, you know, props to Kevin and Amy for working together and producing the film. And you know, it's just it's real teamwork, real teamwork. And after that, things are looking pretty chill. Very quiet, Marvel and Sony are just doing their things and whatever. Things are looking pretty good, so, you know, we can calm down. So, yeah, and then uh, in 2018, uh, Avengers Infinity War gets released and Tom Holland's Spider-Man makes an appearance. Uh, you know, teaming up with the Avengers again. Um, and then he dies. But he'll obviously come back. It's very obvious. But in the meantime, Sony finally releases their Venom movie, and um, the, 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 the uh, went it went very complicated. I don't know. They're, they're, they're continuing to struggle again. Sony just don't know what to do with this universe with Tom Hardy's Venom, and yeah, they uh, they they failed again. It's now 2019, and Avengers Endgame has finally been released, and Tom Holland's Spider-Man does make a little appearance. He's back from the dead. He's alive. Oh yeah, very very surprising, and yeah. Not much out of it, it's just a little appearance, teaming up with the Avengers again. Uh, but then, uh, a few months later, in July, um, it's the release of Spider-Man Far From Home, also known as the, um, Tom Holland's final movie as Spider-Man in the MCU. But, you know, we didn't really, we, we didn't hear anything from it, so no one's worried or anything, no one cares. Yeah, we didn't hear anything, so no one gives a shit. The movie ends up making a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money. And apparently, it's the most amount of money Sony has ever, like, received from any movie that they've been a part of. So, yeah, props to them, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, sure, they made lots of money. Yeah, good for them. Oh, yeah, good for you, Sony. Um, and then after that, seems to be going good. Far From Rome is, uh... To, uh, seeming to succeed, you know, I, I was disappointed with the movie, so, you know, I was just kind of, uh, hoping for that the next movie, the next movie would be good, and I was just like, hopefully there will be another movie, and it'll be actually be good, um, and yeah, things seem to be okay, seem to be pretty chill for the next couple of weeks, you know, everything seemed to be okay, but then the time came, it came, it was August of 2019, I don't remember the specific date, I'm sorry, and during this specific time, uh, me and my family were on a little, a little family trip, you know, we were having a little family trip, we were having a good time, and it was like, it was like really early in the morning, um, I woke up, and I got out of bed to go to the toilet, I had to piss, and then, um, get back to my room, and I, uh, grabbed my iPad, went on YouTube to see any new uploads from my favorite YouTubers, I guess, and, um, I see some videos called Spider-Man is officially out of the MCU, and I'm like, what? Nah, nah, that has to be like clickbait titles or something. So then I go on Safari, I just type up Spider-Man out of the MCU and see if there are any like articles about it. And then after looking at some articles, I have come to the realization that <sighs> Spider-Man was officially kicked out of the MCU. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude, what's the matter?
Okay, yes, yes, you get the point. Everyone went mad. Everyone went crazy. Everyone was so confused about why the, why, why this was happening. And you know, was this what it was all leading up to? Was this what Amy Pascal was trying to say? Was trying to warn us about what this was, that this was going to happen? Well, no, not really. This is it was kind of more of a meaning than that. Uh, it was that I guess Sony were making like all 50% of the money coming from Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. They were making pretty much all the money. And I guess, you know, Marvel, like Disney or Marvel, whatever, were only like making like 5% of it. And they were, they came to Disney, I mean, sorry, Sony, and they were like, hey, maybe we should make a little bit more money. You know, we've been working really hard on these two movies. Can we make a little bit more money? And Sony were like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you again. We're getting the fuck out of here. We're taking Spider-Man with us. Screw you. We make all the money, not you. And that was it. So Disney just wanted more money, or Marvel, whatever you want to go with, and uh, Sony said no. And they were mad. And they left. With Spider-Man. Yeah, that was it. So, yeah. But yeah, after that, everyone, I was pretty upset. I wanted there to be another Spider-Man movie in the MCU. Some people were pretty happy about it. Mainly haters towards the MCU, Spider-Man people who, who are not a big fan of him. People thought that this was really good. I was actually really sad. I didn't want Far From Home to be the final uh, Spider-Man movie in the MCU. I really didn't want it to. I wanted it to be another Spider-Man movie in the MCU, but no. I was actually really upset about that. Um, you know, and then uh, we got some news. You know, Tom Holland, you know, reported that he would still be playing Spider-Man. Um, he would continue to play Spider-Man in whatever he's going to be with whatever Sony is going to tell him to do or whatever. Uh, I'm guessing in the Venom universe, but he was going to continue to play Spider-Man. That made me happy because I do like how he portrays the character. I love Tom Holland. I'm used to him being Spider-Man, so I was really happy about that. But still, I wanted there to be another movie, another Spider-Man movie in the MCU, but no. And yeah, uh, you know, after all that, you know, fans were still very devastated. They didn't want this to happen. They didn't want Spider-Man to go back to Sony. They just wanted it to continue in the MCU. And, you know, it's freaking fans were devastated about it. They you know, contacting Sony or on social media, being like, please bring back Spider-Man to freaking Marvel. You know, we don't want it. We want it to continue. Please don't do this. And fans were so really upset. And I guess something happened. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it had, like, something to do with Tom Holland, but... You know, they somehow, Marvel and Sony, try to maybe come back together and maybe see if they can try and try to work things out and see if they can, like, come up with a new deal or whatever to try to maybe bring Spider-Man back. And um, after a while, you know, of, of wondering what's going to happen, we got the news. It was just some random day. I don't fully remember what day it was, but it was just really random out of nowhere. We got the news. Um... Sony and Marvel came back together, they finalized a new deal, and Spider-Man was officially back in the MCU. Yeah, he, he, he was back. He was back in the MCU. This is literally what it was like. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> and yeah, this all happened just before COVID-19 came into play, and then everything just got delayed. And yeah. And everything got delayed, you know, we would have had Morbius and Venom 2 by now, but we don't. Uh, the report about the official title for Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, and yeah, that's the official title uh, for the next movie. And now there's already, like, I don't know if these are true or not. Now there's already becoming, like, articles, um, possible rumors about that Spider-Man No Way Home will be... Tom Holland's final movie, and then after that, his contract will be done. It will be done. It will, it will be over. His contract will be up. It, it's gonna be all over after Spider-Man: No Way Home. It's gonna be over. That's kind of much how the past couple of years have been with the whole Marvel and Sony deal. They've had their ups and downs, but you know they're good for right now. That's the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And uh, a few things I want to say to um, the cast, the director, and the writers of. Spider-Man No Way Home, please try your best, like your real best with this movie. Please do a lot. Think about what you're doing and confirm with yourselves and be like, okay, I think this is good. We're good. This is going to be a great movie. Everyone's going to love it. Please tell me that you know what you're doing. Please. As someone who was kind of disappointed with Far From Home, I want a lot out of this. Please do good. Please. 
And if it ends up being another fail,